Hello guys, it's the next day. So yesterday I went to the scrapyard and I took mud guards and seals for the van. For only 56 quid the camera died, so I was una unable to film it all. And uh, now I'm gonna wash them real quick, clean them up. I'm gonna see if I can fit them on. But I'm gonna do some uh, fiberglass jobs today. And uh, yeah, let's go. All right, so I just filmed the video explaining what I got. But instead of a normal video, it was a time lapse. So what I was saying is that uh, yesterday we went to the recycling place where the old cars are. are. I call it the car graveyard because it's brilliant. You can find so much stuff there. And uh, so I got mud guards and all the seals for all the sides of the van for 56 quid, which is unbelievable because I called Ford and they told me it's gonna cost me 154 quid for just one door a seal for one door brand new 154 quid that's unbelievable like if i put all the seals in brand new it's gonna cost me more than the whole van itself so i went to the recycling place and uh, i found mud guards i took them off they usually cost 55 quid for a pair i think on uh, like amazon or ebay and these things are the seals which are gonna put around this side is all right but on the driver's side we have little issues uh, like where can I show you like this one it's all corroded and it has a hole so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this bit off and then the rest is usable so I'm gonna try to connect them seal them all and do stuff like that but at the moment I'm gonna do some fiberglass work on each side and then probably gonna put a layer of foam around it or something and crack on with cleaning these things and see if they even fit my real arches. If no, I might cut them up a little bit and fit them in that way, so it's extra protection. But they were five quid each, so no big deal. I chucked them on eBay 55 quid in the worst case scenario. Let's go. So all the mud guards and the seals are washed now. I'm gonna leave them to dry, hang the seals somewhere so they all like drip down and dry out. And I'm gonna crack on with the fiberglass now. Oh yeah, I'm not too sure if you know, we did pass the MOT. It was good, yeah, we have uh, obviously corrosion issues in numerous places and uh, we need to change one of the tires. It has like a, a lump, like a little ball on the inside of the tire. So like on this side, I suppose. And uh, we need to change the tires, which we were gonna do anyways, because before we head out to Europe, we're gonna change the tires. So yeah. Otherwise, everything's pretty much done. We have a little bit of welding to do, like tiny little bits. That's about it. And then um, the next job is going to be insulation, soundproofing, vapor barriers, uh, solar panels are coming on 21st, I think, or till the November. Hong Kong for you guys. And uh, oh, a vent. We bought a vent. First, we went. The vents are really expensive. All these shipments. These are really, really expensive. So 
we pay 130 pounds for a vent but it's gonna be a nice vent because instead of going for a windows because you wanted a window but we want to be a little bit discreet about the van so putting windows is gonna cost us at least 150 pound we we're gonna put a small window down here above the kitchen but uh, that's not gonna happen anymore we're gonna put a vent and a solar panel down there at the top and uh, the vent is gonna function as a uh, window too because that vent uh, it can generate power to suck the wind in and out so it's pretty good and if you need more wind more air or whatever we just open another window and it should be all right yeah i can't wait till we finally start putting all the insulation and everything in you know it's gonna be amazing all right let's sweep up and crack on with the fiberglass glasses on on both sides once again the camera died and I was unable to stop because I was mixing the hardener with the resin stuff so I can't stop and uh, so it's finished next thing I'm gonna do is it's probably not necessarily but uh, just for my own well-being I suppose I'm gonna put a foam around it so yeah it's gonna be insulate a little bit and no water is definitely gonna come through the arches even if the welding fails the water is still gonna come in so that's good all right so i'm gonna grab two wheel arches now and just put them inside the wheel arches does they make any sense I think I have a good news, they do fit. They are slightly a little bit bigger because the van that I took these bits off was a higher roof and high uh, wheelbase. My one is medium roof, medium wheel. So I'm not too sure if there's any difference or maybe because they're different models, the wheel arch is a bit bigger or smaller, but it doesn't matter because I can cut them up a little bit and it's all gonna be good. So it's only like sticking out maybe this much. That's plastic, I cut it down, glue it on there, screw it in, it's gonna hold. Also, please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, 2.5 Van Life, Facebook, and here on YouTube as well. If you like our videos, please drop a comment below. And if you're a music producer, please check out uh, our live video, it's on our channel. We stream music for Van Life community all the time. So hopefully there we can also build a little, little fan base, I should say. You, you guys can share your ideas about vans, beds, bucket lists, your own music that you like, or maybe music that you make, or maybe your friends make it. So please comment down below and see you next time.